Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to clone yourself in Final Cut Pro. Oh. Yo, what's up, bro? Kind of in the middle of something. Now I'm gonna share with you how to film a scene with two versions of yourself, and then take those clips bring them into Final Cut Pro, and then using masking and other tools, we're gonna to create that cloning effect. Let's go check that out. All right, so we're in Final Cut Pro. I'm gonna show you how to clone yourself. Let's take a look at this. The first thing I wanna explain is how to set this up. Um, what makes this location very easy to, do, to achieve this effect is the couch. You've got two different parts of the couch. Uh, I noticed that the cushions move fairly independently of one another. For the most part, we have a very clearly defined middle section where we could split both sides of the image. So as you see here, the way it changes to me sitting down on the other side, it seems to work pretty good. A few things you need to achieve this effect is you need to get a tripod. This is how I had this set up. I'd squared up on the couch. Didn't really use any lighting. I just was keeping it simple for this example. But yeah, so uh, basically what I did is I went and sat down on one side, ran through this whole thing, tried to get the eyes close, you know, to look as if I was looking at somebody who had sat next to me. And then on the other side, I got up, went across the room, grabbed a jacket, a mug, and a different hat, and just acted as if I was responding to my uh, annoyance in the other clip. So that's what you want to do to be ready for this effect. So now there's a few different ways to make this happen. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to drag this clip on top of the other clip. Now if we play it back, we're going to see that only one clip plays. So the question is, how do we cut out this half and allow the other clip that's on bottom to show through? So one way to do that is with cropping. So we're going to come over here to this tool which is the crop tool. And then we have a few options that pop up. We have trim, crop, and Ken Burns. So we wanna go with trim. So as we pull on this control point on the edge of this clip here, you'll see the other clip peek through. Let's say done in the corner. Now that crop tool has disappeared and we are looking at our clip. Let's let that play through. And that worked out pretty good. It's difficult to see, but you'll notice right here as I sit down, because we went with a straight line right down the middle, you can see right here, in fact, let me zoom this in. You can see here on the couch where it completely gets mismatched. There's another way to achieve this same effect with a little more finesse, a little more detail. We're gonna reset these, this clip's properties and then we are going to track down the mask tool. Cloning might not be a new discovery, but we do share these videos all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can get notified when we release a new video. So the draw mask effect, we got that right here. If you don't see that, just type in mask and it will pop up for you. And we're gonna bring this draw mask over to the top. As you can see, nothing's happened so far. Let's click up to the inspector Go to the video settings, and you see this little icon here? This creates some control points. And you can see here, we could start to mask out something like this. That's not exactly what we'd wanna do because you can see it moves, that couch will move, and in this place right here, in some of these spots here, it's just not gonna match up. What I wanna try to aim for is, is right down this line of this couch. Let's reset those control points. So with these control points, what we wanna do is zoom out. So we're gonna to go to 25%, and now I'm gonna start up here, and then let's zoom back in. Actually make this fit. And we're gonna find this line right in here between the couches. Done with that, we'll just click on a different effect, and let's play this back. Yeah, now I can still see that. You can see the couch is peeking out right there. So you can go back in and adjust your control points in order to get this effect to be exactly how you want it to be. And we're gonna hit a keyframe on the control points. And then we're gonna go forward a little bit at a time. All right, now let's back out again and play this back. Can I help you? 
That looks pretty cool. So again, just the important things with this effect is you wanna be careful where you have everything lit. What was great about this room is there was just a bunch of fluorescent lights in the room. So basically you wanna make sure that your, your lights are not casting a shadow here that is present in part of the clip, but not in the other part of the clip. This is another way to clone yourself um, with the mirror effect. So what we're gonna do is just drag this up with option drag. Then we're gonna look for the flipped effect. Drag that on the top clip. And then what we'll do is let's give ourselves some room to work. We're gonna crop this in from one side to about right there. And then we're gonna drag it over using the position tool. We'll find that center point right about there. In fact, to find center, let's go to bring up another cool effect, which is the overlays which will show the horizon. So we can find the horizon right there. Boom, it locked in. Then we'll use this other clip. We will position that off to the side as well. And using the people and the other images, we can see right where that lines up. So let's turn this overlay off and play this back. And we just duplicated, cloned somebody on the screen I think a, dan a dancing video suits this very well because <laughs> there, there it's so a dancing video suits this effect really well uh, because it's a little a little goofy, a little more fun, um, perhaps a, an effect for a music video. Um, but that's another way that you can clone yourself on the screen. All right, we've taken a look at how you can clone yourself on the screen using different filming techniques, as well as editing tools here in Final Cut Pro. And with that, we've reached the end. Thanks for tagging along. Now there can be two versions of you without the hassle or high cost of therapy. But before you go, I have a free gift for you, a pack of Final Cut Pro plugins to enhance your videos and impress your clients. It's worth $138, but it's yours free. Click below to get your free gift.